Emotionless greeting. Compassionate mode. Adding my condolences after the death of Captain Sir Tom Moore, hoping if we say nice things about him, you'll forget our utter incompetence. Feeling no guilt that we basically forced a 100-year-old man to walk around his garden in order to fund the NHS as if it's a charity. Shaking head. Calling it a preposterous idea to suggest that we actually fund it properly. Indignant snort. <laughs> Announcing more communal clapping. Uh, refuting that it's yet another superficial gesture by us to avoid actually dealing with anything. Uh, encouraging you to take part, explaining that this <laughs> pays for one NHS nurse. Congratulating homeschooling parents on getting through a hard time. So, confirming tonight, I'll also be giving every mum in the country the clap. Sexy eyes. Moving on, uh, proclaiming that we vaccinated uh, 20 kajillion people now, stating everyone in every care home has been offered the jab, apart from those who haven't been offered the jab. Uh, delving into some complicated figures. Statistics eyebrow. Saying 76% of over 75s have 68% protection from 72% of vaccines, 43% of the time after 10 p.m. Hoping no one asks me any questions on that. Uh, taking question from professional cynic. Putting out to you, Minister, that you're loving all of this, that it's really just a game to you, that you're trying to forward your political career and push your personal brand. Absolutely denying that. Oh, well, in that case, follow up question about vaccine supplies or something. Cocky grin. Uh, passing my thanks to the EU for making us look like the nice guys for once. Proudly claiming I predicted supply issues by watching the film Contagion, in the same way I predicted the consequences of Brexit by watching Titanic. Imperceptible nod, you thank backwards. <laughs>